today we're going to read another book on Epic called Fancy Nancy and the Delectable Cupcakes by Jane O'Corner. By Jane O'Corner. I adore school. Adore means I really, really like something. But today, I can't wait to go home. I'm going to bake cupcakes, fancy cupcakes. Nancy, did you hear what I just said? Miss Glass asked. I shook I shake my head. I will repeat it, Miss Glass said. Re- repeat is fancy. Repeat is fancy for saying something over again. There is no recess tomorrow because of the bake sale. The bake sale is to raise money for library books. Before I leave, I go to Miss Glass. I am sorry, I wasn't being a good listener. Miss Glass smiles. I know you're trying to improve. Improve is fancy for getting better at something. I hug Miss Glass. I adore her, really, I do. On the way home, Bree says she's Bree says she is making brownies for the big sale. Robert is making a red velvet cake. It is not really made with velvet. That is a fan, very fancy kind of cloth. But the inside is all red. I will definitely buy a piece. Piece, I told, I tell him. At the market, my mom buys eggs and milk, flour and sugar and butter. Don't forget sprinkles and candy, I told her. It's lucky I am here or we would end up with plain cupcakes. I want to start baking right away. I listen carefully to my mom. Miss Glass would be very Proud. I put all the right stuff in the batter. I pour the batter into the cupcake pan. My sister is not such a good listener. My t- mom tells her three times to keep her fingers out of the batter. The cupcakes come out of the oven. Ooh la la, what a lovely aroma. Aroma is a fancy is fancy for smell. What they when they cool off we put on frosting and sprinkles and candy. I want to show Miss Devlin my cupcakes. My mom says come back soon and be sure to leave the cupcakes where Frenchie can't get them. I am ready out. I am already out the door. Miss Evine buys buys a cupcake. She said it is delectable. That is fancy for yummy. I come home and call Bree. We make a deal. I will buy two of her brownies. She will buy two of my cupcakes. I hope I sell all of them. A a minute later, I hang up. Then I see Frenchie's face. Frosting is all over her mouth. Oh no, the cupcakes are all... Oh no, the cupcakes are a mess. Nancy, didn't you listen? My mom asked. I said I leave them in. I said I leave. I said to leave them in a safe place. 
It is all my fault. I wasn't listening, I tell my mom. Just then my dad comes home. I tell him what happened. Now I don't have cupcakes for the bake sale. Cupcakes, my dad asks. My dad says, you bake cupcakes already? Then I holds, then he holds out a big bag, and it, it, and it is, and it is all the stuff for cupcakes. I told you I would buy everything. Both of my parents says at the same time. Then they start laughing. I, I laugh too. Nobody in my family is a good listener. After dinner, we bake cupcakes all over again. I am exhausted. That's fancy for very tired. My dad says, "Nancy, please get ready for bed." Guess what? For once, he doesn't have to repeat himself. The bake sale is a big success. My cupcakes are all gone. Oh, I said to my mom, I didn't even get to taste one. Look, my mom says she saved one for me. I taste it. Mmm, totally delectable. And that's the end of Fancy Nancy and the Delectable Cupcakes. And oh, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and give a thumbs up if you like this book and share. And I will see you guys next.